So here we go then. Let's uh, get a good start this time, hopefully. This is the. Am I playing? I'm on the uh, place. I'm on PC, dude. Oh, just trying to sneak up on the inside. Oh, there's a bit of contact there. Sergio Mad Max. The livery battle. <laughs> oh, Max gives him a bit of a nudge. I'm going to try and squeeze on through, Sergio. The livery battle. Ah. Nicely done. Oh, oh, whoa, whoa. My apologies. Oh, this is getting a bit... <laughs> Rubbing is racing. I didn't mean to bump into Sergio there. My apologies, mate. I was going to break exactly where... Oh, my goodness. Tessa Stratton went really early on the brakes there. I'm going to try around the outside. Oh, Sergio getting sideways there. Oh, wow. Whoa, now I'm going sideways. Goodness, mate. This is going hex with handbasket. I've seen that uh, Ride 4 was actually cheap on the PS5 a few days ago. I was going to pick it up. But I didn't bother. I thought, I'm going to have to do everything again. <laughs> That's going to take a long time. It's nice and tight to the apex we go for Hobbs. And then for the Might Knight corner. Can I get this right here now? Which we do. On the right hand side. Bring on the power. So I went for the soft front, medium rear, and the soft's already getting a little bit warm. So we'll see how things go. Are you on uh, PC as well, Finn? Or are you on uh, console? What is it you are playing on? Can't wait for MotoGP to start. Yes, it's not too long now, Lord Tachanka. It's not too late. Uh, it's not too soon. <laughs> um, I actually missed the MXGP race today, and I I'm so disappointed. I've seen the results as well. I for some reason, I thought it was next week. And I don't know why. I think I got mixed up with MotoGP. Uh, I probably need to concentrate again now because uh, as I've seen Tessa Stratter is approaching a second is the gap to the German man behind yeah I'm hoping for another bloody brilliant season I'm sad because Valet just I know I was I'm a massive Valentino Rossi fan but I'll be honest I really don't care for watching cars and as much as I'm a die hard Rossi fan I don't think I'll bother watching the uh, I don't know what he's even doing the WR yeah, <laughs> whatever it is, I'm not entirely sure. I'm not in entirely sure, but um, I'm not a car fan. So if he comes back to bikes, something I would be very grateful. I think Carmelo Espaleta said he's not against the idea of Rossi coming back for a uh, a wild card in his own team if he ever wanted to. So that'd be really cool. I'm hoping that could be a thing in the future. But at the same time, we have a lot of talent in MotoGP, and it's not all just about Valentino Rossi. And so I think. The talent pool we've got is going to keep us entertained nonetheless. Uh, Julian Shine, sorry if I pronounced that wrong, dude. Hello, I started playing Ride for recently. I enjoy it so far. Love your content. Is there any way I can join the server? Um, you can join the Discord server with the link in the description. I shouldn't have read that message then. <laughs> I've made a massive mistake into turn one. Um, yes, there's a link in the description down below to join the server, and then from there you can um, join our stream from. The following week, because unfortunately we are doing the championship right now, so it would kind of mess up the numbers. You're a big Marquez fan. Nice one, dude. You're playing Ride, four, uh, ride 3 on PS4. I don't think Marquez is going to win a championship again, though. I could be wrong, and I don't mind if I am wrong, because he's a hell of a talent. Transcendent talent. But I think we've seen the best of Marquez, and I think now it's the, the other rider's time to shine. So Pecco... Um, Fabio, Joan Mir, of course, don't count him out. And I really want to see Alex Rins fight back up to the top as well. Frankie Morbidelli is going to do good. If... I am feeling confident with a lot of riders in MotoGP. And one of my personal favourites, Marco Betzecchi. I am very much looking forward to see how he copes on the uh, factory Ducati. No, no, it's absolutely fine, dude. It's not your fault. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, definitely join the Discord server, dude, and uh, we can get you in for the next one. We can do some liveries, etc. And if, if I stay on longer, you can you can join out after we finish the stream, uh, after we finish the uh, the championship, the Katana Cup. But no, absolutely fine, mate. I ch it was my decision to choose to read the comment there and then, so that was my fault. <laughs> okay, so the soft front is looking a bit worse for wear, and we have a lot of laps in this one left. 
So, I guess we'll see how we can cope here. I've noticed Tessa's strategy seems to be quicker in a few areas, and I seem to be quicker than him in a few other areas. What is the gap between Tesla Strata to Sergio 23? Looks like there's a bit of a gap, and this gap is oscillating around a second to Tesla Strata and myself. So we'll have to see how things progress. It's a very difficult track, this, for me to read comments. I do apologise, guys. I can see there is, um, there is comments, but I'm trying to pick them. <laughs> Pick them wisely to choose. If I erase gold cards and 46 in my number, brilliant. Have you considered using the number 47 though, for Dot Race? <laughs> yeah, 46 is a legendary number. I wonder how many players are going to start using number 46 now that Rossi's retired. Because, personally for me, I'm not going to use 46 because 46 needs to be retired. There should only be one man to use 46, in my opinion. And look at the state of the front tyre. Soft option front was a bad choice. Mark had the best time. I think guys like Quattro are going to beat Mark in a few races. Yeah, I would say so. I mean, um, Pecco was really, really solid towards the end of last season. And a thing I don't really like to do, but we'll do it for this context, is if what's but some maybes. If Pecco Bagnaia hadn't crashed in, in Mazzano in the 15th corner, 16th corner? No, it was 16th corner for Mazzano, yeah. Um, no, 15th. I think it was 15th. And he would have probably ended up battling Fabio all the way to the end. Because that seemed to be the blow for him. Obviously that ended the championship there and then. But um, his confidence sort of stayed pretty positive after that as well. But Fabio made mistakes. Maybe it's because Fabio knew that the, uh, the pressure had gone. Not entirely sure. But uh, I guess I'm waffling at this point. Because uh, <laughs> I'm concerned with Tessa Stretto. He's still there. But the gap has now breached two seconds. I'm 13 years old and I decided to drive a motorcycle when I was four. That's awesome. It's a shame because uh, I was never um, I was never into bikes until my mum got me into them when I was about 10. No? No, I've already been later than that. It was about 2010 when I first originally started watching. Maybe a bit earlier. And I know from 2011 I've subscribed to the MotoGP video pass since then. But uh, my mum got me into... Mode of GP and got me into Valentina Rossi because she was a diehard fan. So across the line, another lap in the lead. And we were rather fortunate not to get caught up with too much carnage in this one. I am disappointed I didn't wear my Suzuki gear. I did actually have and do have a Suzuki livery for my uh, leathers. It's just that uh, I mustn't have shared it or I've not used the shared version, which does happen. So I will take that and uh, accept it for what it is. But I think it still looks good. It still blends very nicely. It's just it had more blue and had a Suzuki logo on it, so it kind of fitted in a little bit better. So yeah, I don't like to do the predictions for MotoGP, but I've done my fantasy league in the uh, Grid Rival, which uh, Daniel O'Brien sets up for us. Thank you very much to him. If anyone wants to join it, there is a link in my community post, and you can join our fantasy league for MotoGP. So stay tuned. If you want to get part of that, check out the community section on the Dot Race YouTube page. And now, on the left hand side, 2.3 seconds is the gap. I'm quite happy with the gap here. Soft option front is still looking a bit worse for wear, but it's not been bad, has it? Oh, goodness me. Just touching the sand there was a big mistake. Go on the right hand side, bring on the power for the final lap here in Okayama. This lap time's actually going to be pretty close once again. So now go on the right hand side. I need to be very careful here because the front is very hot. I subscribed and activate notification. Oh, thank you, dude. I really appreciate that, Finn. I, uh, it helps out the channel a lot, especially when the notification bell. Actually, I don't think a lot of people realise the notification bell actually makes a big difference. It helps uh, YouTube promote the algorithm because if it feels that people are subscribing and hitting the bell, it feels that people are, are really interested in the content, so therefore others may be interested and therefore it then pushes it a little bit more. I never realised this until I did like a, a dive deep thing where you look, really look into it and you have a look to see how it is. I'm breaking a bit too late there. Oof. 
spamming the rear brake there to slow myself down. So yeah, I appreciate you hitting the thingy. Um, oh, I'll have to read that in a minute, dude. It looks like I'm going to have to... <laughs> I am terrible at pronouncing names. <laughs> so is it just Julian or is it... Dijulian? I don't know, dude. I really try. If it's just Julian, then then I can say that because that's British <laughs> as well. But if it's like Julian, if it was Spanish or something, you know what I mean? <laughs> But I don't know. Trying. I'm trying. <laughs> but across into the final corner, which is cleverly named as Last Corner, we will get across the line with a 2.5 second advantage over Testa Stretter and a podium finish beckons Sergio, which looks like he was on the, the pursuit of chasing that second position. So not bad. Two victories once again. We've got a break in our, our comp right now. If you guys want to supply me with the results from the Audi Pass race and with all the drivers, I'll fill in the accelerator. Yes! Yes, Ruben! <laughs> <laughs> okay, uh, I took a screenshot for the first one. Sergio, I believe, has got the screenshot for the second one. So just Julian, there you go, then, dude. My apologies for getting it wrong. Y are you sure you don't want to Spanish? You don't want to be a Spanish Julian. <laughs> yeah, the seven lap races were pretty fun. Make a wheelie. Oh, I didn't see that. My apologies. I don't dare to uh, to test it though. Look at them lap times, though, again. The three of us very close. Ah, okay, so your brother... Oh, mother language is French, so it's definitely... Yeah, well, it definitely is. <laughs> it's definitely yours. It's not... Uh, I'm not telling you how to pronounce it. <laughs> uh, oh, Ruben, Ruben. Could you get the... Okay, I got the screenshot for the third one. Yeah, seven laps was quite fun. Um, it suits this track very nicely, since it was just a seven... Uh, a minute and a half track. But I imagine... It wouldn't work for the next one that's coming up. Actually, it might do. we got Brands Indy next. <laughs> oh, hi. Didn't quite see you there. Good to see you're still here. If this video didn't quite set your appetite, then why not watch some more Dot Race content by clicking the video shown on screen now. Furthermore, if you would like to follow me on social media, you can do so now with the links down in the description. Consider subscribing so you don't miss a single Dot Race video.